Pin Fathom 30. I've had it for a year now, so let's review it. All right, first things first, why did I get this reel? I got this reel for distance casting big baits at the beach, and also I got this uh, as a bigger reel to um, be able to run some baits at the beach for smaller to medium sharks and also big bull reds and big black drum. The Pin Fathom 30 is a conventional reel, so it does not have anything to lay the line. So if you didn't know, you're gonna have to lay the line with your finger. Uh, but it's not a big deal, you can learn to do it really quick and it's not really that big of a deal. It is also a star drag reel, so you have your star drag here. It does not have a lever drag and it has about 25 pounds of drag. So the main question about this reel is how does it cast? And the answer is very well. I was super impressed with how well this casts for being such a big reel. Uh, it only has centrifugal brakes, so no magnetic brakes, which most people would re recommend magnetic brakes but it's still super easy to cast and it casts super far. Eh, decent cast. If you're not familiar with conventional or bait casting reels, uh, you do have to use your thumb, but you're not really gonna get that many backlashes. Uh, it's very easy to cast as well. So this reel only has 25 pounds of drag, uh, but that's been more than enough for anything I've caught. I've caught six, seven foot sharks, uh, stingrays. This is the realest fish yet. No! He cut off, dude. Perfect. I love it. Easily handles bull reds. Uh, pretty much anything you can throw at it, uh, short of a very large shark, it's going to be more than enough with 25 pounds. So the drag is very smooth in part to the good drag washers. It has the HT100 drag washers, which are good. And also the bigger reel allows for, uh, the, big, the bigger spool allows for a smoother drag as well. Good thing we have a steel leader, because this is definitely a shark. Holy cow, that's a powerful thing. So considering I use this as a surf reel, uh, the durability is very important. And overall I've been very impressed with the durability. It does take a couple of scruffs on these, uh, the black paint, but other than the cosmetics, uh, I've had no problems with it. This reel has a 6 to 1 gear ratio, and on this bigger spool that's going to make it a pretty fast retrieve. And that's good for a surf casting reel, I think, because you're going to be able to take that line in that you cast it out very far. Uh, a lot quicker than not have to crank on it all day. This reel does have a pretty decent clicker on it. It's pretty loud, uh, gets the job done. It's not overly loud, but it's good enough. So speaking about the clicker, let's talk about the one problem I did have with this reel. I was running a bait in the kayak with the clicker on this reel when it was on shore, and um, when I got back, the reel, it would not crank. The spool would not turn and that was because the clicker was going and one of the screws to the braking mechanism uh, got loose and fell into, fell into the side plate and it would not crank. So if you do decide to get this reel, I recommend taking off the side plate here and tightening up those screws. All you have to do is remove these three screws on the side plate. Okay, so now we can remove the side plate. Boom, side plate is off. So what happened was the clicker, when it was uh, clicking, caused a lot of vibrations and it caused these one of these three screws to come loose. So all you need to do is tighten up all three of these screws before you start using the reel. And one more thing you need to remember about casting this reel is you're gonna need a glove when you're casting it or else your, uh, your thumb is gonna get burned up from the spool. So on my reel, I have a 50 pound braid main line, probably about 450 yards. And then I have 50 pound mono uh, top shot, about 100 yards. And I use the top shot just for uh, added abrasion resistance uh, for the beach mostly. So like I said earlier, I have this reel for two purposes. So I have two rods. First rod I have is a pin prevail 12 foot. And this is a um, four to 10 ounce uh, rod so you can cast up to 10 ounces and that's what you need to cast those bigger spider weights out there in the surf. And the second rod I have here is a P90 
pin rampage boat rod and I use this for running baits out there at the surf. This rod is a 20 to 50 pound uh, mono rod so it's pretty heavy but I think you should go a little bit heavier than this uh, if you're going to be looking at catching those smaller to medium sized sharks. I have multiple videos catching some big fish on this reel so if you want to check those out uh, check out my other videos and also subscribe for more fishing videos, saltwater, kayak, surf, shore fishing.